Thanks to the support of people like you, I was able to create a wheelchair for my dog, Wyatt. So I thought that I would create a step-by-step -step guide on how to make one of these wheelchairs in case you ever need one for your dog. Start off by taking the measurements of your dog. You want the length of your dog's body by the height of your dog's body, as well as the full length of your dog's neck and the complete width of your dog's chest. You'll want to pause on this next image right here so that you can read all of this information and get acquainted with the different parts. Match up the numbers from the previous image to the numbers on this image to find out exactly where everything goes. I used red hot blue PVC glue for this project. Start off by taking a number four elbow connector and putting some glue inside one end and then take a number one body width piece and insert it into that. Then repeat that with another number four elbow. Take the two number six neck length pieces and insert them into the elbow pieces on the other end. Then take two more number four elbow connectors and put them on the ends of those two neck length pieces and then two body length pieces into those elbow ends. At the end of that, Put two number five T connectors and then two of the number seven three inch pieces at the end of those, followed by two more number four elbow connectors. In the middle of those two connectors, put the other one of the number six neck link pieces. Now from the bottom part of those two number five T connectors, put the two body length uh, poles inside there to make your full T structure. Now to make the axles for the tires, you're going to need one number five T connector, uh, one uh, number eight two inch connector, and one end cap. You're going to insert the number eight into the number five, and then put the number nine onto the number eight so you have a full assembly. Once you do that, make a second one, and then mark in the center of each of them where you're going to drill your hole, and drill a hole straight through the number two between the cap and the T part so that you can insert your rod straight through it just like I did there. That's a number 12 bolt. Then you're going to put in a number 13 washer. Then you'll insert the tire on top of that. And then you'll put the next washer on the outside of the tire. And then you'll finally put the number 14 nut on there to hold it in place. That'll protect the tire and give it some extra stability as you can see here. Then you can go ahead and put a little bit of the glue that you're using on the outside of the nut to prevent it from sliding down the threading of the bolt. Go ahead and do that on both of those to make two tires and then insert both of those tires on the number two body length from the rest of the wheelchair. Make sure that it's stable by rotating it around. Make sure that it's even. You might need to trim it as well depending on the height of your dog. Um, or if it's a little bit too tall or short. Then you're going to want to grab a yard and a half to two yards of whatever fabric that you're going to be using. I'm using a thick cotton here. Once you have an outline of your dog's chest, cut out four pieces of that and three to four sashes. You're going to take each of those four pieces and you're going to take two of them at a time and sew them together along the bottom part of the chest where the rib cage meets along the stomach that's going to create the underbelly. And then you're going to do that a second time, so you have two of them. And then you're going to sew those two together at the underbelly joining part. Then you're going to take those sashes and you're going to trim them to the appropriate length and width of your dog's chest so that you can do an overlap of those to create Velcro straps to hold them in place. Then you're going to also make some additional straps so that you can make loops, which are going to go around the dog's hips to hold them in place on the wheelchair as well. You have to make those specifically for your dog's dimensions. Now you can see the loops that are on the chair right there. That is so that the dog can keep his legs up on the back and then you have the belly part like a hammock to hold them in place. You'll have to test this out a couple of times as you go to make any adjustments that you need. Another option you can do is a second loop on the bottom of the leg loop so that you can put the lower part of the leg through that to hold them up. You'll need two of those as you can see here. Then you're going to want to take those additional straps and sew them into L's on the front part of 
the ribcage hammock and sew some Velcro onto them so that you can strap the hammock part to the front and over the back of your dog. So you can have a Velcro strap on the chest and across the back. As you can see here, that's what I did, the front and over the back. Holds it in place. This is what it looks like when it's completed from different angles. Once the dog is inside it, there'll be Velcro straps over the back and across the chest. The legs will be in each of those hoops to hold them up so that he can use the facilities. Um, when I tested this, uh, my dog didn't like the second loops. He was okay with the first loops, so I had to remove them. Uh, every dog is different, so they could work for you. There's the Velcro there. You can see how well it'll actually hold in place. It actually worked quite well and stayed on the dog. Even my uh, vet was impressed with um, how this wheelchair worked. Keep in mind that you're going to have to make uh, all kinds of alterations as you make this because your dog will be a little bit shorter than, than your original cuts and you'll have to make sure that it fits perfectly for your specific dog. As you can see here, this is how it fits on my dog. It goes right underneath the chest, gives him space on both sides, has straps that go across his back and chest to hold it in place. Since he can't lift his back legs, that keeps them off the ground. He's dragging him here, so um, I will always be using booties, like I have here in his uh, thumbnail image. They protect the tops of his feet, and they're only like 20 bucks. I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to come and check out this video. Like all my other videos, if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And again, thank you all for your support and kind words. I don't think I could have gotten through this difficult time without the support of people like you.